the Smart Design. I'm Greg Begley, and with me I've got Hadley Thompson and Tyler Power. Now they're not in that order just to spell out HTTP. They're actually here to race between Windows Phone 7 and iPhone. So this race, it's going to be a race to make a native group chat application uh, for both of those platforms, and for that there's going to be three pieces of functionality they need to create. The first will be a login screen. This is very basic, just username and password, <laughs> and that's the login done. The second and third is a way to send the messages to a server. So in this spaghetti junction we've got here, we've got a server laptop in the middle. And then also, along with sending a message to the server, they need a way of getting the recent messages that have been sent to the server. So getting all three pieces of functionality, they should be able to operate with each other, talk to each other through the server, and get a good group chat going. Uh, so, for the server machine, we've got a very basic. Um, so, each of these clients will be connecting to our web application. So, this is, as Mark was talking about, we've got a JavaScript client. And we've got some great tests from our unit test to make sure this is working. Um, so, any messages they send will also show up on here. So, it'll be a great way for us to check if they're getting where they need to be going. Right, so our two contestants are ready. Uh, we've got Hadley on Windows Phone 7, and we've got Tyler. On iPhone. So, both ready? Three, two, one, go. Right, so, latest version of Windows Phone 7, so he's nicely choosing Mango, so it's all ready to go with Mango. If you just want to explain what you're working through and the first bit of functionality that is the login screen. Okay, well, the first thing I want to do is just add a couple of controls on here, just something really basic. So, let's have a text block and, oh no, where's my introduction? Help all the Everyone knows what it is, going to be looking at it except me. Where is it? Probably is Monday, there we go. Right. <laughs> Thank you, audience. <laughs> uh, right, so this, for this login, all we need is just a standard username and password. So that's all he's going to need to design for the screen. Username with a text box. Well, box on with a uh, design on the uh, Right, and a beautiful form is looking out to be. Uh, Tyler, how are you going on your login? Um, just as a Joe Mobile framework to the project, um, and now I'm going to create a simple login form. So I'm pretty much at the same stage as Hadley. Um, both of these IDs have visual interface builders. The um, uh, iPhone one's a little bit more limited than the Visual Studio. Right. So at the moment, both <laughs> both contestants, uh, both ready. <laughs> Delegate. 
So I do my back and read a snail once we've successfully logged in. Um, any iOS developers out there might notice I'm not actually doing any memory management. Um, it's because I'm in a rush, so it's <laughs> <laughs>
when they send them through. So we'll check on how, how this going. You should have just got on that. Oh, oh. Right, so a smug message. Can we see the smug message come through? I see not even better. Come on, that looks good for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. So we've got... No, no, please, please. <laughs> you, can, you can all do this too. Right. So they're sending a message down for Windows Phone 7. It looks like iPhone is admitting its defeat very slowly and surely. And sending a message, so we'll check on the old server laptop. Oh, so it's very close. <laughs> there we go. So, first bit of functionality for the message side done by both of them. Um, great. So now the final piece of functionality is to display uh, the list of the recent messages sent. So very, the exact same thing again here, but actually displaying that on both mobile clients. So we'll check on back to Hadley to see how he's going to tackle this. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make a really simple timer. Um, it's just going to go up every second. Obviously, oh sorry, it's going to go and poll every second. It's going to go and poll the web service. Obviously, in the real world, you wouldn't want to do this. Going out and polling over the web, but because we're on a very, very, very small network here, uh, I think it's probably going to be all right. So I'm just going to set up this, um, this really silly little timer. And um, yeah, maybe come back to me in a couple of minutes, and hopefully I'll have something up and running. Excellent. So same piece of functionality needs to be provided in the iPhone version. So if Tyler's want to go through what you're doing. Um, I'm at the exact same point, so I've just added a table view controller to my phone here, which is going to list all our recent messages. Um, and I'm going to make a message that's going to go up and fetch those recent messages. Um, I'm assuming if you're using the um, library that you would actually do this with push. Yeah, yeah you, you'd use push to supplement polling, um, but it's pretty hard to get a push notification going in this kind of <laughs> environment. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, push notifications in this situation will probably be used just to, um, to kick it, to make it go and poll. Um, we're checking that for reliability, but we can't really solely rely on them, sort of thing, but they're fairly close. Right, so both of the contestants are very close to getting that final piece of functionality started. And Tyler's just working away, coding what's required to actually get that list. So if you want to uh, walk through what you're doing in the month. Um, I'm just about to do a GET through our API, which is actually um, a generic sort of HTTP GET um, that we provide. Um, so it's basically for the custom web services that you've defined. Um, send it all over here, here, I'll show you sharper. And Um, so yeah, this is, this is the uh, get signature here for our, um, our API. Um, as Mark was talking about before with the root document, so we can plug your eyes off of the root document. Um, so you build knowledge of the, the names of the root document in your eyes and your application, um, as opposed to the URIs themselves. Um, so this is an API function we have for getting your eyes off of the root document just there. Excellent. So while Tyler codes away with that, I'll check on the progress of Pender. Okay, so I've just pulled up some of the JSON that I'm going to be getting back from my web service request. So I get this outer object just um, with an object, uh, yeah, probably on called list items. And it's also got these two strings at the bottom, previous chunk and next chunk. So if there was more than, I think it was 50 messages uh, lined up, this would just be a URI to the next lot of, uh, next lot of messages, next lot of messages. So, excuse me, in this array of list items, uh, you can see each list item itself, or a message rather, it just has the text message itself, the timestamp where it came through, and then the username of the person that sent it. So, uh, down the very bottom of my, my code here, I'm, I've just gone and created two little classes. So, we made a list item, which is to actually show the list, of, uh, sorry, each message itself, and then also a chunk list item list. So, this has a list of list items on it, and also there's other two strings. So, I don't know if anyone's looking at my output, you can see this is actually running at the moment. Um, but in my, my silly timer callback, we just use this uh, helper method on uh, the Windows Phone 7 factory to get a URI from the root document. So we can just pass it uh, the, the logical name that we give it of the URI, which is uh, just recent messages URI. Uh, we can also do a get off our, off our Windows Phone 7 factory, um, pass in that URI, provide a callback. Again, high priority message, I only want to try it once. Because we're going every second, we really don't want those um, to, to queue. So, 
Um, sorry, queue if they fail. Uh, in the callback, from that get, we're just going to say, do this on the UI thread, clear everything out of the, um, the, the list box that I've got of messages, and just convert the response that I get back into a list of chunk list items. Uh, no, sorry, just a chunk list item, yeah, this one. And then just iterate through those and add each message to, to the form. So, I'll bring it up in the debugger. <sighs> yeah, <Right. laughs> I'm done. I'm actually really done. So, if I type myself a message here, it's like I, the Tyler. Uh, pretty bad. And sweet, I've been Tyler pretty bad. Coming up on the screen. How's that? Um, I'm not I'm not <laughs> functionality completed, they're now interoper interoperating with each other nicely. You can see it's the same kind of message list that you saw on the JavaScript client. And uh, that's Windows Phone 7 getting all of them finished while Tyler just travels along.